Hi class, we're looking at problem 2.2, the problem um, with Henry and Emile and their little walking race. If you look here on the table, okay, question A1 asks us to complete the table, which you did in Google Docs yesterday in class. Um, notice how the time at zero seconds, Henry's at 45 meters, that's his head start, and then Emile, who didn't get the head start, is at zero. Now notice how this table, Henry, we're counting by 10 seconds. So Henry's distance is going up 10 meters because he's going up 1 meter per second or 10 meters per 10 seconds. Emil is going up 25 meters per 10 seconds, okay, which is 2.5 meters per second. So just double check that your table's correct there. And then let's look at the graph. Oop, I tilted that graph. I didn't want to do that. Um, but we are going to do rotate there. Okay, so let's look at the graph here. Notice we have time, which is almost always going to be on our horizontal axis, and that's in seconds. And then our distance is in meters, and that's on our vertical axis. Notice how they're both straight lines. Notice that Henry, or excuse me, Emil is starting at zero, zero. That's his point, and we're going to have a question about that here in a little bit. And then Henry is starting out at 0.45, which shows us his head start. Notice his head start here. So let's look at the questions that you should have finished for homework last night. Question A asked us to make a table showing the, uh, the distance from the starting line at several different times during the first 40 seconds. And we did that on the computer, and then hopefully you copied it into your graph or table there in the class. And then we graphed it, and we graphed it using the computer. So we all should have a graph similar to this. Now, writing the equations, let's go down to question three. Here's Emil, and notice how his distance is going to equal 2.5 times his time, okay? Now, notice this plus zero here, and we're just putting that in there to remember he didn't get a head start. However, his brother Henry did get a head start. If you look at Henry's equation, notice this plus 45. Now, Henry was walking one meter per every second. Notice the time there. You don't necessarily have to write this one in here. However, I like to write it in to remind me of his rate because his rate isn't zero. It's one. Okay, remember that. Now, Emil's starting value is zero. Okay, so double check your equations. Make sure you have them right. If you have any questions, make sure you ask, please. All right, we're moving on to B now. And if I can go to my next page, question B asks, how far does Emil walk in 20 seconds? Well, we can use our table and look and see, if you go back to the table, where he is at 20 seconds and he's at 50 meters. We can also plug in 20 seconds in for that equation that we wrote, which tells us to take 2.5 times this time in order to get the distance. And guess what we get is 50. Henry, on the other hand, um, question B2 asks us, after 20 seconds, how far apart are the brothers? So we need to figure out where Henry is. We know Emile's at 50. Henry, if we take 20 and multiply it by 1, we get 20. And then add 45 to that, which is his head start, we get 65. So the two brothers are going to be 15 meters apart. Okay? Now, in... Um, if, how can we see this distance represented in the table? Well, if you look at the table where both 20 seconds are, you can see that one's 50 and one's 65. In the graph, if we look here, I'm going to jump back to the graph here. If we jump back to the graph, we can see at 20 seconds, one brother's here at um, 50 and the other brother is here at 65. So this distance from here to here is going to be how far apart they are, and that should be the 15 meters. So now we're on to question three. Is the point 2670 on either graph? And no, it's not. If you look back at the graph here, you want to look at where time is 26, and that's going to be about right here, 2670. Okay, and here is 70, so it is not. You can look at your table here, and at 26, okay, oh, we don't have it there, but at 25, Henry's going to be at 70. So at 26 seconds, he's going to be further than 70 meters. And then Emil here at, tw um, at 26 seconds, he's not going to be, he's going to be under the 70. 
Okay, so he's not going to be there either. So know that point. And remember, this point 2670 is your x value and your y value, the time versus the distance, okay? And it's not on either graph. When will Emil overtake Henry? That means when is he going to pass them? Well, if you look at the table and where the lines meet, if we go back to the table and where the lines meet, they meet at this 3075, right? That's where they're tied. So at what time does he pass him? Well, that's going to be one second after that. So after 30 seconds or 31, okay, after um, 30 seconds, um, they're going to, Henry, Henry, excuse me, Emil is going to overtake Henry. All right, question C says, how can you determine which of the two lines is steeper? Well, remember in our table, we can see that as the value changes by one, okay, whose number is going up faster. Now, if you go to your Google Doc table that you created yesterday, we had that zero through uh, three first, and then we started counting by tens. You can see that Emile's is going up a lot more per one second. Okay, so his line is going to be steeper. And then if you're looking at question C2, okay, um, First of all, we can look at the graphs and we can see Emile's line is much steeper than Henry's. Even though Henry starts out higher, Henry's is a lot flatter, okay, than Emile. So then how can we look at this in the equation? Well, we look at the numbers that are right beside the T and we compare those. The bigger the number beside that T value, okay, the faster it's going to go up. Now, question D. Remember, you can always pause these videos at any time if you need to copy down and change some things in your notebook. All right, we're looking at D1 now. So how do the, at what points do Emil and Henry's graphs cross the y-axis? They cross the y-axis, Emil at 0, 0, and Henry at 0, 45. And we can see that here on our graph again. Sorry for jumping back and forth. We can see here's 0, 0 for Emil, and here's 0, 45 for Henry. Okay, now at um, question two says, what information do these points represent in terms of the race? This is the point where they started um, in relation to that starting line, okay, at zero seconds. Where are they going to be? That's how we can see that. So how can these points be found in the table and the equation? Well, if you look at the table, it's where the y value is C. So we can see their starting points right here at 45 and 0. Notice 0, 45, 0, 0. That's how we can see it in the table. Um, I've shown you in the graph here. Here's the graph, and there's 0, 45, and there's 0, 0. Now, the equation is the tricky thing. However, I'm hoping you're starting to see these patterns. It's the number without the variable that's being added, okay? And that's why if we go back to our equations here, that 0, 45, Notice, we're adding that 45. There's no letter attached to this 45, and that's important because that's his head start. He didn't have to earn that. He didn't have to waste any time to get to 45. That was his head start. Now, notice the brother doesn't get a head start, so that's why we add the zero. Again, it's not necessary to write that plus zero, but understand what that means and why there's nothing that's being added to an equation if you just wrote d equals 2.5t, that that plus zero is his starting value. Okay, hope this helps um, summarize the problem 2 2 for you. If you have any questions, please ask in class and um, you'll be working on your ACE questions after we're done listening to this. Uh, have a great day.